Hey guys, what's up? I'm your host Raj and welcome to my channel 100 Days to ML. Basically, you can use any programming language for machine learning algorithms, say Python, R, Java, Scala, C, C++, anything. But among all these, Python is the simplest and easy to learn. So I would be teaching you how to code machine learning algorithms using Python. In today's lesson, we are going to look at different data structures that are useful for machine learning in Python. We would be starting with lists, then move on to numpy arrays, check the differences between them, then go to strings, then dictionaries. Finally, the most commonly used one in data science and machine learning, data frames. Okay, so let us begin the coding. I would be using Jupyter Notebook for its simplicity and user friendliness. You may either use a PyCharm or any text editor because Python can be run at runtime. So let me just open Jupyter Notebook. To open it, go to command prompt and type in Jupyter Notebook. I have already created a IPYNB notebook for our reference. So today we are going to look into lists, numpy arrays, dictionaries and data frames. So what is a list? A list is simply a collection of elements. It could be either an integer, a string, a float or even a none type. So let me just go ahead and refresh this. Now I can create a list. So let me create a list my LSD. Let me quickly check the data type of my LSD. It is a list. Let us check data type of each element in the list. For that, I would be using a simple for loop. For i in my LST, will assign i each and every single value in the my list list, and it would be continuing till the end. So, what would be the output of this? As you can see here, it is the individual data type of each element in the list now we will go to numpy arrays however let me inform you to create a numpy array you first need to import a numpy package and import in python is simple you just need to write a statement input numpy and you don't have to really use as np however for simplicity i would be using as np so let me create an array here my arr what is the type of it it is nd array of numpy so what is the difference between a list and array so a list can store multiple values yes it can change the value like is it immutable that if i want to change an element in the list yes i can do it what about tenses what about vectors and what about matrices can we do it unfortunately no that is the reason why we use numpy arrays rather than lists in data science and machine learning fine now let's go to dictionaries what is a dictionary 
and why do we use it dictionaries are a collection of key value pair it is as you can understand a hashable thing and we use it because most of the file formats use it for example json objects are python dictionaries let me quickly create a dictionary over here and let's see how do we call a list element list element is called using a index value for for python the index value starts with zero so what would be the output of my lsd of zero it is one and one is the first element in my list now let us create a dictionary let us see how to call a dictionary value dictionary value is called using the key so my underscore dict of key will return the value that is stored for that particular key that is key one now we are going to see data frames so what is a data frame data frame is similar to a table in a database and it stores column values with column names let me simply create a data frame and data frames are data structures from pandas package so let me import that too so what is the structure what is the data type of my data frame It is a pandas data frame let me quickly type the whole data frame for you over here as you can see it has the index values and column one has the values of rows one two three and column two four five six these are rows and these are rows and these are columns in a data frame so what would I get if I call my df of call one as you can see I get the values stored in column one that is one two and three with their indices zero one and two so this is the basic data structures that we are going to work for the next hundred days hope you guys like this video please like share and subscribe my channel and be prepared to meet me tomorrow have a good day bye bye